Concord is embarking on a new seven year strategy. This video presents what we will do and how we will work under our new strategy. The process started two years ago when our members decided to take stock and reassess which priorities should guide Concord's work. As well as the focus of our work, members decided to change the way we work, breaking out of silos and in making important issues truly transversal. The new strategy will guide our work over the coming years, from 2016 to 2022. This infographic shows the direction we plan to go in and the areas of work we will cover. Some important elements were part of discussions throughout, such as participation, practicing what we preach, sustainability, gender and human rights. Each strategy should be guided by a long-term vision. Concord's vision is a world free of poverty and exploitation where people are equal. The work of the coming years can be defined according to two main pillars. The first pillar focuses on making sustainable development a reality for all. This means working to ensure policies promote sustainable development and address root causes of poverty and inequality, all within a rights framework. The second pillar looks more at our sector itself, the vehicle for pursuing our goal, ensuring we have a safe space to share and learn from one another. This means fighting to retain the rights of citizens and civil society so that we can work effectively. Both of these pillars will mean being more transformative in our approach and breaking out of silos to work with other sectors. The new strategy provided us with an opportunity to rationalize our work and better prioritize where we are going to focus our efforts. This also means we have a new structure and working structures, as well as a new secretariat arrangement. The policy and advocacy work will be collected in four hubs. Three committees will help coordinate and support our work. There will also be spaces for self-organized initiatives. First, a focus on the hubs. Each hub has planned its work according to a number of change objectives that it hopes to contribute to in the coming three years. These change objectives are also the focus of the annual work programs, which can be consulted on ConcordNet, one of our tools for internal communication. Special objectives have been included in each of the four hubs for gender. Hub one is focused on sustainable development and policy coherence for sustainable development. Hub two covers financing for development. Hub three is about the work needed to promote a space for civil society around the world. And hub four is global citizenship education and people engagement. As mentioned, the hub work will be complemented by three committees with diverse membership fulfilling specific functions. The policy direction committee will ensure Concord's policy work is coherent and political. Considering the range and diversity of our membership, the Inclusive Network Committee will work on participation, accessible information and leadership. The Financial Advisory Committee advises the Secretariat and the Board about financial issues relevant for the Confederation. A framework for members to work together outside the hubs is provided in self-organised initiatives. We hope this new structure will help us achieve our long-term objectives of a just and sustainable world. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact us in the Secretariat.